one second, folks. I gotta do something real quick. Just take this comfy thing, this little blanket, put it over the box I have sitting next to the cats. Because the fucking child, child in this case being this fucking thing, keeps eating the plastic tape on a box because he has pica and him eating artificial plastic seems to make his brain go burr even though his makes his shits smell like ass. Shame him. Shame this little goblin. Bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. Oh, he's so cute. I love you, little man. Darth Maul versus Kylo Ren, who wins? Darth Maul. Like... And the reason I say Darth Maul is because we see like like how powerful and, and conniving and, and diff, built different he is through the uh, um, Clone Wars and, and uh, 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 Rebels and all that stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. So Darth Maul definitely beats Kylo Ren. <laughs> There is a song about pizza rolls, ramen, and cheese sticks. That's fun. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Listen, I make videos. I literally make videos that are fucking pointless all the goddamn time. There is like there is no. So I I literally made a, a a video where the whole purpose of it was to for me to um take like recruit mac like review macaroons that you get from um. Like all these or something. There is no, um, the, sometimes not every piece of art you make is going to be a magnum opus, emotional, amazing thing. It's okay to just make weird shit because some because the whole point of creation and creating things is supposed is supposed it's supposed to be fun. And if you're not having fun, then what you doing? So yeah, make your fucking song about pizza rolls, ramen, and cheese sticks. Pizza rolls, ramen, and cheese sticks are dope. I'm 26 and I still eat pizza rolls, ramen, and cheese sticks. Old Moonstone, lovely. Oh look, everybody. It's the Set's Fortress homage. Fuck you. I unlocked the skip. I unlocked the skip. Yeah, I got the nice top hat. We were looking mighty drippy. I beg you. How did that happen? I probably would play CS. Honestly, I'd probably play CS over um, Valorant if I'm being honest. I just I don't know. I'm just I don't like the riot launcher. I don't want to play. I don't like. I, I don't like the riot launcher. If I'm being honest, like because here's the thing. Like my girlfriend said that if I play League of Legends, she'll leave me, and I don't want to give her any like inkling that I am playing League of Legends. So like Valorant, you would you have to download through the riot launcher, which is also called the League of Legends launcher. Uh, that's that's a risk I am not personally willing to take. Yeah, it's strong. It's, um, a little bit of a cheat. A little bit of a cheat. You know, a little prob probably a tiny bit inappropriate to have, if I'm being honest. Um, it was given to me, it, it was given, it was a piece of extra content that's given to you when you boot up the game, because, like, because, like, the developers have been constantly refining the game to make it better and better and better. But, I started with it, and it's, you know, a fairly powerful um, weapon. I mean, it's not pro it's probably not the strongest in the game, but I mean, it's got good reach, a pretty stellar um, uh, 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 shoulder block. But uh, yeah, Loki kind of goofy. I like it a lot. Especially, but here's the thing, it's it's only, it's a technique weapon. It's a technique weapon. So, like, if you're not doing, like, a technique build, like, you're still, and you're doing, like, a strength build. I did a strength build. I've beaten the game already with a strength build. I wanted to be with, I want to try a technique. I'm around, and I've learned 
that the, you know, not just this weapon, but like all the technique weapons, kind of insane, all things considered, in regards to like how powerful they are. Um, I was not expecting uh, doing a technique run from level zero to be this, you know, much different. Now, even I will admit that, like, you know, I, I, I have, I know what to expect. I know how to block things better. Like, you know, my first run of Lies of P gave me the added advantage of knowing what the fuck to do. But all of that aside, like, it's still unwarrantingly goofy how good the um how good it is and uh honestly like i low-key dig it um yeah like it, the, it a technique play style feels better when you're like much more comfortable with the game that is much as obvious but you know even so i you know the tech it, 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 it's just strength weapons are slower they hit harder but you know, if I hit you more times in a turn, does it really matter? I don't really think it does at this point. But, yeah. I'm enjoying it. Quite a lot, actually. Controversial opinion. I don't like a lot of games being live service. I do like them, but not every game needs to be a live service like Suicide Squad. Not every game needs to be a live service, full stop. Like... That's not a controversial opinion, Stickers. Now, don't get me wrong. Are there some game franchises that personally I feel would do better by just having expansion after expansion after expansion come out a la like a World of Warcraft or something similar? Yeah. My controversial opinion for that is like something like Pokemon should be more of a should be a live service instead. You know, where where like you have just a continuous story as like where like of a character or whatever. But to your point of like there shouldn't be live service, uh every game should be live service, I absolutely agree. Especially if it's a single player game. Um I very I think very much if you want to enjoy gaming how it used to be before all that nonsense, or at least like in a less predator predacious way. Look at games at the forty dollar marks, right? Like if you were playing like a like like if a game is popular and it's forty dollars, odds are you're gonna have a much better bang for your buck in the, at that price point than you are at the sixty or seventy dollar range. Once you get above forty dollars, like once you go to like the game prices above forty dollars in terms of game price, you're gonna get some like weird shenanigans, and it sucks. It really bothers me that about the creative decision to have the nameless puppet in both phases kneel down after it kills you because it makes it feel like it's teabagging me and because it's just an it's just an NPC, I can't say or do anything to hurt its feelings and that really bothers me. This is supposed to be an RPG. What am I role playing? The fucking victim? Why is this so hard? Why is this taking so long? Oh my god, stop! Please! My Dutch brain cannot comprehend dipping anything in milk. See, that's the problem. Oreos are a culturally American thing. And us dipping them in milk, like you have to think, you have, don't think like a Dutchman. Think like an American and broaden your horizons to what Oreos can be. They're wonderful. Dip them in milk, it's worth it. In front. Oh, trash can it is. 
Momo, Momo is now stuck in here with us, everybody. This is a criminal. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the face of a criminal who has been terrorizing his mom, his brother, and Auntie Maurice all damn day. This is a face of a criminal. This is the face of a bad person. He is a criminal. He has warrants in 46 counties across the United, the United States. He is not allowed to set foot within the state of Nebraska for reasons that are sealed under court order. This is the face of a criminal. This is the face of, an, of, of a felon. He is bad boy. Sinner. Are you redeemed in the eyes of God, my child? No? Away with you. Da 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 I was gonna clean my room, but I got high. I was gonna get up and find the broom, but I got high. My room is still messed up, and I know why. Why, man? Cause I got high. Cause I got high. Cause I got high. That's all this is. Man, if I had a dime for every time I died at that exact spot in that exact same way. I'd have 20 cents, but it'd be weird that it happened twice. Yes, I'm shouting on him. No, I don't regret it. This man made me type into Master Duel. With the fucking sous ship made to order searcher. So yes, I am styling on him. Yes, this is has upset me. And I don't know why. You know why. Fuck me. That's what I get for being a bit of a dumbass. No, Evan, of course. Use the big, flourishy puppet on a string, spin and attack in the air and fall, and while simultaneously using a weapon that has a mean front step whenever you're attacking. Yes, please do that on a tiny fucking ledge. That's not going to spell poorly whatsoever. Hey, hey, Mr. Sniper, see this? Fuck you. My favorite, my favorite video game resolution. My favorite. What's your favorite video game resolution? I prefer 720p as it gives me more performance, but it look as ugly as some of the lower ones. Um, honestly, I for me it varies for game. I as if a game's fun enough, I am not above running it in potato mode. Nor do I mind running it in potato mode. But that being said, I will say that um. Uh, that that being said, I will say that I definitely do. Um, you know, prefer for, like, prettier games like Elden Ring, I would love to turn the resolution up. But, like, you know, if it doesn't... If if, 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 if if the look of the game isn't so, you know, integral to, like, the enjoyment of it, yeah, I'm not above running that bitch in potato mode. Dust, you were wondering why I was making the mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy joke? Well, this is why. Oh, Simon. I'm a Carlax Sim. The fuck you expect? Sad Zealot's Ergo. And I think with that, that gives me the, uh... 
I think the uh, one thing I'm a bopper. Oh yeah, no, we uh, have to uh, do a couple things. Cause... Fifteen minutes until the round table, so let me just take all of this fine little ergo, go buy it from Dinkamadoodle, and we'll be thingamabopping on the way to Boodleboop. It'll make sense. No, it won't. I just, I, I just didn't know what the fucking use for you. Stop throwing rocks at me, Dust. I'm on my way. Goddamn. I ain't playing around. I'm not fucking around with this fucker. I'm nope, 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 nope. He is a bingus, and I don't like binguses. And you, and when you are just like in Yu-Gi-Oh, when you have to deal with a big ass bingus, you just do quick, dirty removal. Doesn't matter what it is, just you got it. If a bingus is staring you down, about to punch you in the throat, you gotta hit. You gotta get rid of the bingus expeditiously, just like in Yu-Gi-Oh. What exactly makes someone Yukonese? Um, being English. Because the only people that call themselves, um, like, Brit Britons or British or, like, people from the UK or identify as part of the UK are people, are usually people that are, that like the concept of the UK. The people that are generally against that, like, will call themselves Scottish, Welsh, Cornish, um, and usually, the, and usually people who are Scottish or Welsh or Cornish or Irish don't fucking like the UK. Because the way they became part of the UK is not good. Now you have my attention. As far as uh, Eng yourself. no that way I thought England me. was in Europe. I wonder. Up until a decade ago, it was a part of the European Union. But I do know one you, the UK is a part is class is part of the continent I'm of Europe. Pal. Yes, is it an in an island twenty miles off the coast of France? Yes, but as far as from ge from a from a cultural, geopolitical, economic, and religious standpoint, it's fucking Europe. It's not that bad. Oh no, no, I know, I know, I know. It's like, like here's the thing. Imagine if you had to pay, stick. If you imagine you broke your leg. Now imagine having to go to the doctor and them not healing you until you pay them first. Or, more pragmatically, they send you a bill for hundreds of dollars for healing you. And then if you don't pay it, um, you get in trouble. Also, Spooked, you live in Eastern Europe. You live in Eastern Europe. You live in a former Soviet uh, country. I promise you that the that your life and your experiences are going to be different from somebody living in the UK, who's and is also going to be different from somebody like me living in the Northeast of the United States. Just like how my experience is going to be so different from someone living in this. If it, I need you guys to understand. I need you to understand when the United States of America is the size of Europe, every state, functionally, or cluster of states, culturally, are their own fucking country. Like, maybe not legal legally, but practic- Hey, 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 Coco, we're uh, talking about, uh, I'm trying to explain to one of my um, community members here that, like, there's a difference, like, just, like, like, just, they, they yeah, they think, Coco, they think that, um, you know, I'm not saying that every United States citizen or person in the United States could kick every single you know, you person in the UK's ass. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is, is that we live in a country with more adverse adversity. And like, I am, I'm scared of getting shot. So if some if a, if a road man comes up to me and I'm in London with a knife and says, give me your money. I'm like, Make me, bitch. Because here's the thing. You can stab me, sure. But, like, I'm not scared. Like, I, you can... Here's the difference, right? You can... If you, somebody brings hands to a knife fight, 
you still got a pretty damn good shot. I'm not afraid of getting stuck up a little bit. But if I, if I bring hands to a gunfight, I lose. Especially if the motherfucker is more, is, is especially if the motherfucker is outside of arm's reach. Like the like. I like this is all stemming from me clowning on UK people saying that oh you roadmen like you, you, you like 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 roadmen 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 and Americans you know, like what the fuck is a road oh j you're just somebody trying to stick you up but they're using like a metal spoon or a knife like that's not scary now am I gonna get my ass beat probably but like. They're going to have to earn my wallet from me in that situation. And then again, I'm in the UK. Free healthcare. Do you know the level of cockiness that I have if I am in a place with free healthcare? Come on. Like, listen, I generally don't like fighting. I like to talk my way out of fights. But if I'm in a country that has free healthcare and you're trying to rob me? Motherfucker, you might be you might stab me a couple you might knock me over my head, but I am going but like you're gonna learn <laughs> today what like like what a like the, the amount of like pent up anger a motherfucker has coming from a country with no health care and no hope. I out of respect for you stick bros, I'm not gonna go do my whole fucking UK bit because like I I got jokes for days on y'all and it's and it's and listen I want to be clear I I it's not because I think the United States is better than the UK or any other country we're not we're objectively not we're only we're we're, we're only top the the number one in three specific categories uh, number of incarcerated people number of guns owned and number of adults that believe in angels so we don't we're not really great at anything oh yeah we're also top in defense spending too that's that's the that's the fourth one but regardless in the motherland we fight with fists mostly it's done by everyone else in the rest of my grandma the rest of the tuesday so, you know, like the personal then why are you defending the the, the, the brit bongers <laughs> spooked like i'm not i don't know like i know that russian people are tough russian people are tough we know this we know, like, in America, we understand Russian people go through hell and adversity because your leadership continues to fuck you as a population nonstop for, since time in memoriam. From the, from, from the warlords to the, to the czarist Russia to, to, the, to, to the USSR to the Russian Federation today, you guys keep getting fucked by your leaders and live lives of adversity. That breeds tough people. We know you guys are tough. We know this. We've, I've seen John Wick. Like, so, who are you trying to like, 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 like? Why are you defending the like the like the UK? Like, I'm not saying that the UK is like bad or I'm not. I'm just saying like, like, like in this hyper specific context, why are you so upset? Why are you so making it so fucking personal? <laughs> you know, that's what I'm wondering. Like, Stick Bros is like we're chilling. Like, and he's and he's actually British. I'm just confused. <laughs> 